1.10, which is max, we want to write a method called max and it accepts an array of integers as parameter and returns the maximum value in the array. So we'll make it a public and we'll call it not void but int because it needs to return an integer. Its name is max and we are taking in a array. So we'll have like ints and then we have to have these brackets to indicate it's an array. And we'll just do ARR and then we're going to be inside of here. Now we have this array and we want to return the largest value. So what we can do is have an ints and we'll just call largest. And what we can do is just set it equal to the first index in the array. So we'll do ARR at index zero. So it's initially this. Now, since we want to look through every single index of our array, we can use a for loop to do so. We'll do int a is equal to one. We'll start it at one because we already have this index zero. And we're just gonna do a comparison inside of here. So a is equal to zero, and we're gonna run this as long as it is less than our arr dot length. And I think we have to do minus one because of indexes are one, or the length minus one. And then we'll have a plus plus so that we can go through each one. And then inside of here, what we're going to do is again, the comparison. So we can say if the um, value that we are currently looking at, if the value is greater than our largest, we can reassign it. So if the largest right here is less than ARR looking at our current index, so that's gonna be held in A, we can be inside of here and set largest equal to this new value because it'll be the new highest value, right? So we can end this, end this for loop, and end their method and see how well it goes. Uh, oh, and we're missing our return statement. So once we are done with our for loop, that means we've looked through everything. We're just gonna return the largest. And so we can submit mm -hmm. this. And we passed five out of seven tests, so not all the seven tests. So I expect to return is 39 and we returned 25 here. So it looks like I might have a problem with the arr.length minus one since it starts at one. We might not have to do the minus one part. So let's submit it again and try that out. Okay, so my issue was since we started at one, we don't need to subtract one. This already takes care of that. So we've passed seven out of seven tests. Um, everything looks good. And that's what I would use code out to solve self-check 7.10, which is max.